What's up everyone, Tokyo Brandon here and we're back. Before I get to the Interleague series preview for today, I'd like to tell you about what's going on at Wager Talk with me. All my plays this week are $9, except for my 5% plays. My 5% plays are 15 Right now, I am winning 60% of my Japanese baseball. I'm winning 60% of my KBO Korean baseball. And also, uh, I am on a 27 and 14 streak in all sports. So, head to Tokyo Brandon's Wager Talk page and you'll see all of my plays. I release maybe two or three plays a day and they're all $9 each, including my best bets 4% plays. Now, on to the preview. The Saitama Seibu Lions are going to Tokyo to play the Tokyo Yakult Swallows. And here's how I break this series down. Right now, the Seibu Lions are reeling with injuries right now. And they currently have the worst bullpen in Japan. So when I break down a series, I like to look at how teams are doing currently. But mainly I look at starting pitching, bullpen, and lineup. Let's look at lineups first. The Yakult Swallows are a top three lineup. They have mashers up and down from one to eight. Unfortunately, this all the series uh, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are going to be played at Central League team's parks, which means the designated hitter will not be used and pitchers will be pretending to hit the ball. So one spot of the lineup will be out, so scores will be a little bit lower than normal. The Yakult Swallows have one of the best lineups in Japan. They have mashers in Murakami, Yamada, Osuna, Santana, Shiomi. They have a lot of guys who can put the ball over the fence. They can explode for four or five runs any inning. So they're a very dangerous lineup. Uh, the Seibu Lions, on the other hand, are... They have some decent hitters, but they're really reeling from injuries right now. Really, the only two guys they have that can, that can uh, do a lot of damage are Yamakawa and Nakamura. Uh, Mori also can hit quite well. He just hit a home run last night. But generally, those two guys are the dangerous ones. And aside from that, they can put ducks on the pond, but they don't have a lot of guys who can put it over the fence besides Nakamura and Yamakawa. So those are the lineups. Starting rotation. Yakult has only one really good rotation pitcher. His name is Ogawa. Uh, besides him, I really don't like any of their starters, except for Ogawa. Seibu's uh, rotation, also, I'm not really uh, enthralled with, but they do have two guys who are pretty darn good, and those guys are Takahashi and Matsumoto. Matsumoto just pitched two days ago, so he's not going to pitch in this series, but if you see Takahashi making a start, uh, you can expect that Seibu is going to probably keep the score down a little bit. So those are the rotations. Now let's look at the bullpens. Uh, Seibu Lions have the worst bullpen in Japan, hands down. They're awful. They have a collective whip of 1.9. Uh, they have a collective ERA of 5.45. They're terrible. They're awful. They're bad. Yakult's bullpen is toiling in sub-mediocrity. Uh, they rank 7th out of 12. Uh, not really good. They don't really have a lot of guys who can come in and nail it down. So what do we do? We got two lineups with quite a few guys who can put it over the fence. We have two terrible bullpens. And we have two rotations that I really don't like much. What I'm going to be doing in this series is I'm going to be looking for a lot of overs. Um, not just blindly betting overs, but if I see a six and a half, a seven, or even a seven and a half, as long as Ogawa and Matsumoto and Takahashi are not starting, I'm going to probably bet the over on that. But what I'm really going to be looking for is if I see a Yakult team total, three and a half, I'm going to bet the over on that every time in this series. FanDuel and a bunch of other uh, books in the U.S. offer Japanese baseball team total. 
So that's how I'm going to be approaching this series. I'm going to be looking for overs as long as Takahashi is not pitching for Seibu and Ogawa is not pitching for Yakult. I'll be looking for uh, full game overs in that. And I'm also going to be keeping my eye out for Yakult team totals over three and a half. That's my preview. Take a look at Tokyo Brandon's page at WagerTalk. You'll be seeing all my plays for $9 this week, except my 5% plays, which will be 15 That's it. I'm out. Thanks for uh, watching. Hope you win all your bets, and I hope I win mine too. Happy betting, guys. I'll see you later. Salute.